Hello again, friends. Welcome back to twitch.tv slash Draperberry, and welcome back to some more of Astrid being an absolute boss. That's our bow-only stalker series. For those of you who missed our, <laughs> our first edition last night. So, last time on Astrid being a boss, we spawned in Desolation Point, we got the free bow at Koru's Corner, we killed a bear, very slowly, but we did. Um, did a bunch of looting and sa uh, sapling collecting. And then we came to Coastal Highway because the one thing we didn't get there was a heavy hammer, which we immediately got at the Quonset. So now we have all we need. As you can see, we, yeah, we came here with a bunch of birch and one single maple sapling. So here's what we're going to do. Hey, Goofy. Good to see you. Oh, Goofy, did you find your, uh, your, your uh, circle stencils? Were they somewhere around your desk, as you suspected? Leave that. Yeah, we're. Yeah, we'll go just have a, ni a nice breakfast full of soda, as we as one does. Where'd that go? There we go. Put that right there. Okay, so what I want to do is we're gonna make a quick. Well, I say quick. We're gonna go back to Desolation Point. We're gonna take the heavy hammer with us. And then what we're going to do is we're going to... F we have we have scrap metal there. I will take those with, though. Because we're going to make as many arrowheads as we can. If we're going to go, we're going to forge. And then we're going to come straight back here. We're going to make the arrow shafts. We're going to make the arrows. And then uh, we're going to do a whole lot of killing. We're just doing a little weight management ahead of time. There we go. Cause yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be rolling with actually oh we don't need all of those. Uh don't need the sewing primer. Um we have fire starting three. I'll take the I'll take the field dressing your kill just in case. Uh oh no the, the base the basin was empty, Goofy. We there was uh well first off it said non potable water, but there there was nothing in there to collect anyway, so it was a moot point. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, we probably don't need two sets of coffee. We'll take some traveling food. I might leave the peaches. Yeah, we'll leave the peaches. We have uh, we have a good amount of venison waiting for us back in DP. Uh, hacksaw, don't think we need one. We should have two hacksaws, which is lovely. We are taking the pry bar. Because what one of the rules we're setting for ourselves here is uh, non-lethal wolf struggles only. Okay, there we go. Lots of room there. Yeah, those take four days. That'll be totally fine. My thinking is by the time we get done forging... Those should all be ready to go. So we'll just come straight back here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Um, I tell a lie. One, we're, it's really early. Two, we do have the materials to make one more bow. Or one more bow. One more feather. Feather. One more. Arrow. There. Hang on. Oh, there we go. It didn't, didn't give me the, didn't give me the, uh, the tools option. That was weird. Yeah, so we're, we've been Barney fifing it so far, but 
Now we can go ahead and do that. And we'll have two whole arrows. What luxury. Oh, they're they they are under your dining table. Huh. I wonder how they got there. Oh, wait, did I miss a... Uh, I missed a Go Energy drink. I'll just... I'll leave that there for now. I think we're all right. Okay, so so if, so if you if you found those, so were you uh, were you uh, able to make good progress on your homework assignments? Okay, remember we're in coastal, so we we do we have not done all the uh, laying waste to the local wildlife that we have in DP. So be on our guard. Hey, Lupin. Good to see you. Yeah, I know two whole arrows, which is it feels like a luxury. Spending so much, uh, spending so much of yesterday's stream walking around with exactly one. I think put on the dining table because you needed more space, and they fell. Okay, yeah, could make progress making the model today. Nice. Well, you have a, uh, you can have a well, a less stressful. Monday evening. Although, pretty just, it'll, more than likely, uh, it'll just be filled with all the other homework you got to do. This is the this is the uh, the way of those who are in full time school. We got oh negative ten. Yeah, it, it is it is still rather early morning, so that's that makes sense. Yeah, there's there's a suspicious lack of wildlife. Also, there's oh you know that that's a prop deer. That's probably a Carl Bob. Okay, I'll grab the feathers and we'll go. Yeah, we did. Yeah, when we first got here, uh, there we 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 got about to right about that fishing hut, and then we got caught in a blizzard going to the Quonset. So. That was slightly awkward, but it also means new beachcombing loot. And I am of a mind to just do a quick check. Okay, there, there, there's the misanthropes bear. Okay, right, normal service is restored. Yeah, we'll, we'll check as we go, even though you know, we're going to want to save carrying space for all those lovely arrowheads on the way back. Hey, Brady B. Welcome in. How's your Sunday? Hope you're having as relaxing a weekend as you are as your your work and sleep schedule allow. Yeah, th this was a very not get up to much weekend for me. Partly because you know, it just like the the usual tiredness I just feel on a regular basis now, but also I just did I had no no interest in going anywhere. And I I, I will also say, um, Hong Kong is going to get it, it got crowded over this weekend. At least from what I saw on social media, and it will be more so over the coming week because uh, Tuesday is National Day, and it sounds like there are there's like a a silly amount of mainland tour groups coming to town. So, lots of people walking around. With uh, suitcases in tow, because apparently that's that, there's like this uh, what do they call it? like guerrilla tourism now, where people go and, and they they make it a, they they make it their goal to spend as little as possible. National Day, yeah, 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 National Day, October first. 
you know, Hong Kong being an inexorable part of China always has been, always will be, etc. and so forth. Yeah, so. And the thing is, like, we here, we get one day off. But if you're in the mainland, you get a whole week. Now, the trade-off is... Uh, they they don't get a whole lot of other holidays on the week on the mainland, whereas we get well we get a lot of that we get like Easter and Christmas and Hong Kong specific holidays so it it, it it balances out mostly. Although they also the mainlanders also do get they get more uh, more time off on Lunar New Year. But yeah, that national day pretty much it as far as I know. Uh, maybe you gotta work a little, but you get to work from home tomorrow. Okay, nice. Sure getting cold. Oh, stop. I mean, we could we could stop at the old the uh, the the basement on the way through crumbling, but I we'll we'll warm up in the coal mine. I'm not I'm not too worried. Lunar New Year. Yeah, yeah, the mainland New Year is wild. Like the, like the, uh, the the biggest mass movement of people on Earth. Which is like a great time to just stay in a big city and do nothing. Because like, it's, lots of things are going to be closed, and lots of people are just not going to be there. A big time to spend traveling. Yeah, yeah. And they, and they got to they lay on extra trains, and it is it is a sight to behold. And being the uh, someone who does not like crowds necessarily, it is for me something to behold from a distance. Okay, there's one doggo there, and there's another one right there. And I appear to... I think we lost him by going up over the ridge. Well, you're lost, buddy. You can even handle Singapore's National Day. Mm, yeah, I know. I, know, I, know I, was, I, was, I was there for a couple of those. That is, It is a big thing. Are we going to do this? Nope. Yeah. Take that, doggo. Now, where's my arrow? There we go. See? From distance. That's, that's, that's more like what we're trying to do. Not wolves specifically, but just like getting better at shooting from range, so we don't have to do the uh, the close-up encounters. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just do a quick loot here. Probably not a lot we're after, but we'll just we we'll do our okay. <laughs> I say not a lot we, that they could be useful to us, but they'll. And then the game does that to me. Okay. Where's our good drawers? And nice thick woolly sweater. There we go. A little bit more color in our... Uh, our outfit. And we got a whole other degree too. So for so for for National Day, I assume you just you stay steer clear of the celebrations, Brady B. I can completely understand. I I I did the same.
Yeah, did we? Yeah, no, I don't think we, we didn't. We, uh, so our, our cohort at the, uh, the LKY school, we, so we did, uh, events for, for Lunar New Year. Well, one Lunar New Year, not, not so much the other one. Oh, is, is that a flare? No, those are mittens. Okay. Looked like a flare gun there for a second. But yeah, I know we had like, uh, oh, you know, like a, a gatherings where, you know, for a, a, you know, a group meal or, um, oh God, we, we made uh, dumplings. That was it. Yeah, we, we went and made dumplings as a group. Which I really liked. We, we didn't always have the, uh, I think our, our cohort was like one third from China, one third from India, and then one third everyone else including Singapore and getting getting our Chinese uh, classmates to take part in anything was like pulling teeth but that the, the dumpling making was the one time we got them involved so I, I was happy about that but yeah one one lunar new year was fine the second lunar new year well that was when COVID was going on so that was uh gatherings were rather discouraged then. Yeah, it was it, yeah, it was it was a nice it was a nice spread. And like our 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 eclectic third, we were like two Americans, uh like five or six Singaporeans, two Malaysians and an Italian. And then we had like, we had professors from like Singapore, Malaysia, India, mainland China, South Korea, uh, one from Bulgaria, who turned out to be the biggest communist of all of them. But no, it, it was a good time, and I I will say I I did I did my level best I. I really tried to stick around in Singapore, but, well, <laughs> one, I mean, get, yeah, getting a, uh, getting a work permit f as a foreigner for Singapore is, it, it was already going to be challenging. But then, <laughs> I, my, my program finished in May of 2020, which, if you'll remember, was a time when the world was eh, basically on fire. So, you know, no one was really in a hiring mood. Or was it, oh, the, the, the last professor was from Bulgaria. Land of the Bulgars. There we go. Okay, now, first, first thing, we're going to go to the lighthouse. And we're going to grab the uh, some of the venison we left out front there. And we'll take that to the Riken. Kind of a windy, twisty way down this down the slope, but we made it. Yeah, the friend from Bulgaria, nice.
And hello, David. Welcome in. We're just getting going here. We're... We got the heavy hammer we wanted in Coastal, so now we're going to make a quick trip back here. We are going to have ourselves a big old forge run, and then we're gonna, by the time that's done, our birch saplings should be done curing. And then we can... We'll, we'll head back to Coastal. We'll make a whole mess of arrows, probably make another bow, and then we can start with the killing. I also, I do want some some firewood for the uh, get some firewood set up for our forge, so we don't have to pump all the coal in at once. Hope everyone's having a uh, lovely weekend, wherever you happen to be. And if you're in the in the southeast United States, hope you're <laughs> hope you're uh, you have battened down the hatches and you're you're able to dodge the worst of the hurricane. Okay. Um. Right. So yesterday I was talking about some of the some of the reading I'd been getting up to, but I started over the those few days where I did not have a a uh, video game worthy computer. I talked about uh yeah I talked about a random walk down Wall Street. And today, while I was waiting for my laundry to finish, I I I, I wrapped up. Uh, how, well, yeah, how to, sp hmm, excuse me, how to speak money by John Lanchester. You know, like Manchester, but with an L. And uh, it, it's even more of like a, not, not, not entry level, but it's like a, one of those books that's written for people who are interested, but not necessarily fluent in the language of a certain subject. In, in this case, money. Okay, yeah, give me... Oh, yeah, oh yeah, they're all... They're all just 800 calories. Because we're, we're still on cooking one. Okay, well, let's get this meat over to the Riken, and then maybe, maybe, we do a quick look at beachcombing. Okay, speaking, well, I mean, so there were some of the stuff that was in there, like, there's, there's an introductory chapter where we talk about, like, why the ability to speak money is important, um, and why there, there's like that kind of the gulf between uh, finance professionals and like the us regular folk and and the effects like what you know what what it, the kind of harmful effects that can have like people not just not knowing but feeling actively discouraged from learning about it and then like the, but like the main thrust of the book is like it's like an a to z of a lot of the terms you will see come up that like it's if you pick up the the financial times wall street journal bloomberg what have you yeah some of the stuff i was familiar with from from doing because I, I did have the time in my life where i was a uh, i was voluntold to fill in as a business editor for one publication so i had to i had to learn a lot quickly A lot of it, it was either new or, you know, it uh, it cleared up some other, it, it, it clarified some things that I might not, have, might not have been all that clear on beforehand. 
I think Vice really does make you feel stupid very quickly. Hi. Okay. I th yeah, that is a strong agree from me, Will. Also, hi, Will. Good to see you. How was the baseball yesterday? I hope you and the lad had a great time. I guess the, the missus as well, if she went along. It makes you full of regret. Yeah. Especially, especially if you're... I think you I mean if, if you're if you're the more active kind of investor and not a not a lazy slob like me, and you, you do you you make a punt here and there that doesn't work out, yeah, that, that that's easy source of regret. You know, my my source of regret is trusting the wrong people and then losing all my retirement savings. Gave me a rather negative view of so-called wealth managers, but that's a story for another time. It was great. Good, good. Stop the Flames from having the best record this year. Oh, who, who does then? And I, I, I've kind of lost touch with baseball the longer I'm away, but... I know the Cubs aren't in the playoffs, and that that's about the extent of my interest. Um, oh, yeah, 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 ready to be. It was, uh, yeah, it happened while, well, it was kind of a crossover thing. You know, something between, uh, while I was in, is that an arrow? That's a broken arrow. Hey, free arrowhead, nice. I it happened, like, between my losing my job in Jakarta and, was it New Jakarta? No, sorry, uh, sorry, uh, wrong interval. Losing my job at Abu Dhabi. And then starting in Tokyo. At least you are the White Sox. That, that is always true. Uh, do Timberwolves? Uh, yes, Dave. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, wolves and Timberwolves are... They're under the same heading. Which makes sense, because like they're... Uh, the wolf spawn settings for this difficulty, it cranks up the spawns for both of them, so... They, they're, they're both there. Yeah, so like 250 wolves, 100 deer, 100 ptarmigans, 100 rabbits. And like the, ideally the ptarmigans and the rabbits will be with fire hardened arrows, which I have to, I have to keep reminding myself to make. Uh, we're, we're aiming for 50 bears. My thinking there is there's roughly 30 bear spawns in the game, so... We do one full run through them, and then we we get respawns. That should, that that should suffice. Uh, Mo Moose is the awkward one because like there are even like there are the the small number of places where moose can spawn, but even if they do, they don't stay spawned. Like as we've seen, like the auroras will chase them off, the blizzard will chase them off, and oftentimes they just won't come back so i'm i'm, I'm having to i had to give the the the, uh, the the moose number some more thought i mean if we see one and we're in a position to get it obviously we're going to try to get it oh i see a red canoe and a red canoe should mean arrows Oh, and I think I see some. Yeah, look at that. Two two intact arrows. Oh, oh, the game's going to try to keep them from me. Three, three, in, no, two intact arrows and one broken one. Okay, we're going to have to be quick about this. I'm going to let that heal up, too. I don't, I don't know if, like, waiting for the cracks to go away makes any difference. Nope. Go, you stupid... That's just... That's... Yeah, that that's my mistake. Let, you know, letting the crouch... Leaving the crouch button and the sprint button right next to each other. Okay, we got most of that. 
but obviously we would really like that other intact arrow. Run! Oh, it's a fire-hardened arrow. And a broken arrow. Ah, but we did get two intact arrows. Nice! We, <laughs> we have doubled our arrow collection. And there we go. The, the, those are the wonders of beachcombing, especially below Loper. It's like on Loper, you still get the canoe, but you don't get the free arrows. Another birch sapling? Don't mind if I do. Another maple sapling? Don't mind if I do. Goodness. But again, beachcombing is not OP. Is that... That's oh, a broken arrow. My good, It's like... It's like the game knows we're doing an archery run. This is, this is kind of disgusting. But in the best way. Oh yeah, I guess if I if I was if I was really looking forward, I would have uh, I would have left the heavy hammer at the Riken as well. But it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, I think what we'll do we'll stay the night because we, yeah, we we left with Astrid wasn't fully rested, and plus we're carrying a lot of stuff from the beach going, and we're tired, so. Yeah, we'll, we'll give Astrid a full night's sleep. And then on the morrow, we, we, we start doing the ting, 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 for hours and hours and hours on end. Okay. Yeah, we are, we are constantly on the look for feathers. Oh, uh, thank you for the hydrate, David. Let me... Oh, gee, many Christmas. Another sapling? Another maple sapling. Okay, fish. We'll just move that inland so it doesn't despawn. Okay. We're going to walk away from the coast. I'm going to reach across myself here. We'll see what we can do about getting you that hydrate. I do not have auto walk on, so I'm going to manually do this. <clears throat> there we go. All right. Now, see how... Yeah, we left uh, ten. Yeah, ten pieces of scrap metal at the Riken when we left. And then we're bringing... Yeah, we're bringing five. And then we're going to have at least another three or four just straight-up arrowheads from the beachcombing. So we could have a couple dozen. Yeah, we have a couple dozen arrowheads in our pack when we leave. Now, hang on, let me see real quick. Hey, yeah, one arrow weighs 0.15 kilograms. So, point, so 10 of them would be 1.5, double that. That's about 3 kilograms of arrows do you want to stop at about 20 or do we just make more arrowheads 
but don't necessarily affix them to arrows. Because hmm. like my one of the things, the more, one of the the, the uh, ideas that attracted me to this is uh, so because we're not going to be running around with a rifle, a revolver, a flare gun in all their respective ammo. I thought we would be we'd be more we'd be lighter on our feet. But again, I, and the more I think about it, if we're going to go carrying go around carrying two bows at once, ooh, about paid for those combis. About paid dearly. If you're gonna go two bows and like a couple dozen arrows, that could offset the savings in weight. That's a re rifle round. Don't care. Move that fish inland though. Is that a thing? I see. There's a trunk right down there. That'll probably be the end of our, our beachcombing adventure for today. Tired. I know you are, dear. I know you are. Just you know, one one last push, and then we'll let you hunker down for the evening. Is that? Nope, nope, that's just birch bark. I mean, we'll take it, of course. Okay, free cattail. Birch bark. And the chest has... This will come in handy. Mm, disagree. So, what do we leave? We, we got... Yeah, so we got, yeah, got a... a uh, uh, birch, two maple, and one, two, three intact arrows and three broken arrows. I say that's pretty solid. I was like the f fog rolling in, fog fog's rolling in right at the end of the day. It's weird. Usually it's the other way around. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Uh, we'll, go, we'll go up to the lighthouse, and I'll drop off that extra clothing. I really don't need much of that. And then we'll take the we'll take the rest with us to the Riken. Hello? There we go. Thank you. We were, we were doing this goat flawlessly yesterday. What happened? Uh, yeah, we yeah we left ample coal back at the forge with the, the firewood we have plus the coal that'll be plenty. And see, it take yeah uh one yeah one set of arrows so like one we turn one piece of scrap metal into two arrowheads over the course of an hour. You're fine. Ooh, those are almost cured. And so are those. Okay. Um, get clothing. Yeah, just drop the spares.
and drop the jeans. There we go. Yeah, now we have uh, got work pants and combis, which could use some touching up. Uh, are we... Are those coming with? Yes. Yeah, three of those, five of those, plus those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Keep moving. Gently. Aim for the white stuff. Thank you. There we go. Now, yeah, we dropped, those were, when we left those birch, yeah, they probably had about three days to go. So, coming here, doing all that, that was one day. We'll probably spend the best part of the next day forging, give Astrid another big sleep, and then another day to travel back. So, yeah, by the, yeah, so by the time we get back to Coastal, those birch saplings should be ready to go. Ooh, okay, there you go. Uh, next question. What is the fate of the heavy hammer? Do we leave it at the forge or we take it with? Because we're we're trying to. You know, one of our one of our rules is we do non-lethal wolf struggles, so no knife, no hatchet. We're not picking up any revolvers anyway, so no worries there. So there's the pry bar or the heavy hammer, but I think I don't I don't know this for sure. I'd have, to, I'd have to ask Bash, or, or look it up, but... I th I think there's a... I don't know if it's a large chance, but there is a chance, I believe, for for the, ha the hammer to kill the wolf. And if that's the case, then we might want to steer clear of it. And then just go pry bar only. Okay. Oh, nice. Those are almost cured. Okay. Yeah, so one... No, no. Riken. There we go. Yeah, so... Five maple. We do have one birch. Well, there's our wolf hide, our there's our bear hide, our collection of guts. Pause stream, take a visit. Ah, that that wouldn't that would not make for great streaming content. So I will. I appreciate the suggestion, Goofy, but I think we'll pass at least for now. Okay, yeah, here's our our big wood pile. Are. Oh right, um, something I missed that I only saw on the VOD. I missed the Femi, the Femi flask. So obviously we're going to be, that will be coming with us. Okay, uh, let's do some quick harvesting. Yep, 
Yeah, the, the far far hardener. Yeah, it, it gives us exactly one crow feather. You know, it's, it's better than nothing, though. Was there another one? Nope, those are intact. That's intact. Okay, so we got so we got two free airheads out of that mix, and uh, yeah, then two, no, three. Yeah, our no, our fresh arrow, our existing arrow, and then two free arrows. There we go. Okay. Uh, is there anything? Yeah, no, we're, 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 we have light, but yeah, we're going to be, I think we could read, but we're going to be way too tired to do that. Yes, Astrid, I hear you. Okay, that's a fine. Right, so. And we could try some repairs. That'd be good, a good use of our time. Right, so when, whenever... Okay, we'll, we'll see. Try our luck until the... Sun is sufficiently down. Thanks, game. All right. Well, so the combis need work. We got the we got the the fancy undies. Okay. Uh, we'll go. Yeah, we'll go with the full ten. It'll be before... Yeah, we'll wake up before sunrise, but we're used to that. Actually, no, we woke up exactly at sunrise. But we are not fully rested. Yeah, we might want to make some water... As we as we forge. Well, no, it, no, it's 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 fine though, because it's we're. Yeah, we'll get. We don't have to. We we can take the fatigue damage. Okay, give me. That is a lot. I'm not sure I can carry much power. Well, yeah, let, let, let's let's hold on there. Yeah, it's 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 the coal that's gonna do the business. Did I, did I leave the can there? I did leave the can there. We got plenty. Yeah, we're going to need to keep an, keep an eye on our water reserves, but also uh, make sure we stay well fed. Actually, that, that's the thing we can do straight off the bat while we, as we wait for the temperature to go up on the forge. We'll start some water, and then we'll step out and Perfect. get some of that venison. Okay, we'll have to wait a bit because uh, yeah, the the timer does not go above eleven minutes or eleven hours. Excuse me.
See, and add, adding anything more beyond that would be just gilding the lily. Okay, ooh, that's a lovely sunrise. Pity we're going to see exactly none of it. And see, it's ticking up ever so slowly. And it has stopped at 97. And what does it need to be? 100 and... 150? 150. Ooh. Okay, that could... Oh yeah, did I bring any, any of my coal? I, I got one piece left. Oh, never mind. We go. Okay, we got. We got more. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Also, those those maples are cured. Lovely. Okay. Uh, yeah. So. 150, so that's 20, no, 33 degrees. So that's that's two pieces of coal. And so, as soon as it hits 150, we start hammering. We have 15 pieces of scrap metal. That's 15 hours of forging, which we can do. We have we have the we have the wood. There we go. Okay. I do not have water on. I do not have water on. Okay. So we can do we can do more at a time. Okay, very good. There we go. That's another yeah, 11, so we can do six more. And we we have more unclaimed wood over here if we need. We have nine to go, and eight hours of fire. It is an indoor fire, so it will be exactly as long as the timer says. I know, Ash, I, I've had you in here literally all day. Okay, make sure we don't lose our well-fed. That'd be deeply embarrassing. Okay, there we go. Three more hours. Got three more pieces of scrap metal. There we 
go. Uh, to, uh, we could use some more water. So we'll drag this fire out just a little bit longer. You want to make chairs. You don't want to because it seems hard. You finish the structure of the room and the table. Take Yeah, to, to give yourself... You know, take, you know what? No. Take ten. Yeah, take... Take ten minutes and... Do, you know, I, I don't know, whatever whatever it is young people do with short breaks. Scroll the Insta. Have a snack. Maybe do both. You're going to take 20. Okay, okay. 20, 20 tops. 20, then right back to the grindstone. Okay, yeah, we're... We're back up to a good amount of water. So let me take this. We'll light that. And... Well, how many airheads we got now? 32! So, yeah. That's... Uh, going to be a heck of a lot of arrows. You've been working for an hour straight? Yeah, 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 take 20. 15, 20, whatever. Just make sure you're in a, in a good space when you come back to it so you can you can power through and put in the kind of work your instructors expect of you. Make for your back since it hurts when they turn. Okay, well, there you go. One more reason. So, are we done here? I think, yeah. We got four arrows. We got a whole lot more arrowheads waiting for us. Um... Food is well. You know, food will be fine. We just we just need to hunt things that aren't wolves or bears. Lovely. Okay, here's what I'll do. I will. We'll leave the hammer here. We're, we're going to be bold. We're going to be brave. We're going to go pry bar only for wolf struggles. We're going to try to avoid wolf struggles, obviously. But if we can't, we'll just try to knock him away with a big hunk of metal. Now, cured gut one. Cured gut two. Uh, how many maple saplings? We got one, two. Do you want to leave one? Okay, we'll, we'll leave one behind. But that's that's uh, that's one bow worth. Two bows worth. And we'll take three so we can have uh, extra for the one maple sapling we got back at the Quonset. Uh, tomorrow, maybe depending on how you're feeling, you're going to do one to five drawings, and maybe Tuesday, probably Tuesday, to do the model for that. Okay. Well, it does sound like you have a plan. Let's see, what am I taking? I'm taking two maple and six guts away from the Riken. There's three maple. Six guts. E yeah, that'll do. Okay, so we are we are nice and 
lean. Got a little water. Drink a little coffee if we need to. Got our arrowheads. Time to go back to coastal. Now, mm, no, I, I think, oh, maybe do we indulge ourselves in a little, you know, a little advanced archery while we're here, but, um, yeah, we're still, yeah, archery, we're, actually, we're, actually, we put a decent dent in that. My thinking is, yeah, we go back, because making the, making the arrows those all get us archery skill and even if we're like we start our our hunt proper at archery 2 i think that that's more that's more damage we do that's more uh more yep yeah, they, they bleed out faster it, it would just be not not min mass. It, it would be it would be in our strategic interest. Yeah, there we go. Ah, yeah, that that's the ticket. Because if I remember correctly, yeah, making arrows gets you arch archery XP. I don't know what making a bow does. It might. We'll, we'll find out. But oh yeah, also reminds me we have, we have thirty two, we have thirty two arrowheads, but we don't have uh, each regular arrow takes three crow feathers, and we're well short of you know, ninety odd crow feathers. So we'll we'll make all the arrows we can, and go from there. You know, even if even if it's only like a dozen, that's that, that's way better than Barney fifing it with a single arrow. So we'll be if we if we run into arrow thieves, as we inevitably will, it will not be a huge imposition if they grab one of our precious arrows and run off to the far flung corners of a zone. We, oh, and actually, yeah, something something else occurs to me. Just th thinking through the uh, the feather and crafting logistics. Okay, if our if our uh, one of our KPIs, our killer performance indicators, is that we go through at least ten bows, do we actually want to make fire hardened arrows? Because like, the argument for fire hardened arrows is that they, well, one, they don't need arrowheads. You, you just need a stick and I think five feathers, and you get a uh, batch of three, so they're easy to make, uh, easily replaceable. Uh, but was, yeah, they don't. They'll they'll kill rabbits and ptarmigans, but that that's about it. Maybe, maybe they scare off a wolf. But if our, but the, the, the other, the other draw is that they, they take less bow condition per use, which again, normally good thing. But if if one of our goals is using up ten bows and we're planning on what 40 to 
40 to 50 shots per bow. Maybe we actually want the extra. Although, again, it says at least 10 bows. It doesn't have to be exactly 10 bows. We're, we're, I, I dare say we're going to find more than 10 maple saplings. <laughs> we, at, the, at this rate, we might get 10 maple saplings just from beachcombing. So, maybe, and to... Do they? Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, here, here, I'll, I'll, I will state it thusly. Unless and until we see a specific need for fire hardened arrows, we'll stick with the, we'll stick with the kind that requires an arrowhead. How about that? Well, if, 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 if for no other reason, then it's one less thing for me to remember. No, leave that, leave that. Now, okay, all that said, um, and I, I said well, we want to make more arrows. I will make a tiny exception for maybe you know clearing out the area around the Quonset, just to give ourselves that little bit extra peace of mind. Because we, as as we as we begin our reign of terror in Coastal Highway, it, it'll. It'll be nice to have that, uh, be able to, you know, go in and out without fearing. Are those clipping into the ground? They are. There we go. Yeah, just be able to go through with that. That will always have to look over our shoulder. Because we know that there's a bear that likes to wander through. There are ample doggos and... Maybe even a moose. Maybe. And yeah, I am... I don't... You know, we're not going to walk around with a ton of coal. It's not Loper. But we'll grab a few. And then we'll, we'll do our little routine where we just relocate the other pieces of coal, so... We can uh, start their respawn timer without having to actually pick them up. Here we go. And yeah, at some point we are going to want to stop and... make a bunch of... Well, actually, I said make a bunch of water. We're going into Coastal, and we haven't looted any of the houses, you know, beyond the Quonset, so there is toilet water aplenty to be had. Ooh, okay, I don't... I don't like the way that weather's looking. Is that right? Come on, then. Nope, nope, resist. Resist. There was a... <laughs> there was a part of me that wanted to let, let fly with the butt shot, but... That, yeah, especially with Archery 1, that is a guaranteed Arrow Thief.
Okay, so I'm going to see if we can tiptoe along here. See if I can spy that wolf before it spies us. As, yeah, we'll go check that prop deer. Um, I probably grabbed... There it is. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I probably grabbed the feathers off it last time, but we'll, we'll make sure. That's rock. Okay, so do we move on or do we or do we beachcomb? Oh, there's another prop deer over there. Okay, we'll we'll go in search of feathers. It is that feels like well we're at negative zero. One of my one of my favorite mathematical concepts in TLD. And since TX isn't here to speak up in favor of it, I, I can I can shit talk it all I want. But also, if, if we go a little bit out of our way, you know, do a little extra beach combing, it will also give our bird saplings just that little bit longer to finish curing. So when we get back to the Quonset, we can go from our our forge a to our craft a -thon. Okay, yeah, nope, don't see anything there, so... I don't hear her. And yes, I am. <laughs> You'll notice we're walking into the wind and we're not moving excruciatingly slow. I did take the Blizzard Walker feet. You know, the. I did the, the, the obvious ones, you know, the uh, uh, Cold Fusion and. Oh, what was the other one? Oh, and Fire, Fire Master. So. We got that permanent war two degree warmth bonus and. We started on fire starting three. I gave some thought to doing the one, was it the, the settled mind that prevents cabin fever? And then you, you do, you, you burn through research 20% faster, but I thought better of it just because, well, we're, the whole idea behind this run is to, to go shoot stuff and Save for a couple very specific instances, there's not much shooting to be done indoors. So, you know, barring an extended blizzard like in the Far Territory, and we will be going to the Far Territory. I don't think cabin fever is going to be a huge issue. But walking into the wind is always going to be an issue because it's the long dark. That is... Oh, look! Another purchase happening. I mean, that my, my loot goblin heart is delighted, but... I just feel like this is getting a little, <laughs> a little ridiculous. But hey, as much as we're going to be shooting, we're going to need all of them. So, if if the ocean wants to provide, who am I to tell Poseidon no? Okay, I did see a prop deer up on this slope. We'll take a peek real quick. Grab some more feathers. We will always be in need of feathers. And then 
nope. Nope, no feathers for you. Maybe, maybe we got their feathers already. Okay, on we go. Let's see, we're... Yeah, even, even at below half stamina, we are... Still six kilos under, so if we wanted to, we could say go loot the coastal cabins, uh, the ones that are just off this road coming into coastal, the ones that are always all burned out on Loper. Because there'll be the, yeah, they will have toilet water, and they will have. They will have loot. It, oh wow, that that cleared up remarkably quickly. Um, we could hang out there for the evening. We've got to remember the uh, the misanthropes bear does like to go wandering down that way. Okay, what what are we what are we doing here? Yeah, we're okay. We're it looked like the skies were clearing up to blue for a second there, but now now we got a f you know full on white, which suggests we could have a blizzard on the way. Although you know things so you look straight ahead, it's hard to see, but you know, look out the corner of your eye, the you know, you, you get a better view, which is you know one of those. Long dark peculiarities. Okay, yeah. Given the conditions, I'm, I'm more of a mind. Yep. Yeah, we'll make for the, the coastal cottages. We'll loot those. Might even stay the night there, and then. Come tomorrow, we return to the Quonset, and have our craftathon. Okay, yeah, excuse me. Waterfront cottages. The uh, coastal cottages must be elsewhere. Yeah, in, yeah, in terms of clothing, we're not bad. We're, we're actually still lacking a proper coat. But most everything else, we're solid. So clothing, not such a big thing. Well, here, let me, I'll, I'll take that. I'll just drop that off. Aha! Snow pants. The, the snow pants are in rather rough conditions, so do a little, little bit of fixing up, and there's plenty of cloth in the form of curtains. Oh, there! Nope, nope, not that. I just want that. Not just any grape soda. Stacy's grape soda. Yeah, what would we... Yeah, it looks like the uh, the combis are... Yeah, we'll, we'll go combis on the inside, and then the snow pants on the outside. Once they get fixed up. So, yeah, 44% snow pants are... Well, they're, they're probably handy. one wolf attack away from being former snow pants. Oh, 
Oh yeah, you know what else we don't have? A pot and a skillet. But 100% fresh cooked venison. Who, who cooked that then? Or was that was that oven just somehow sealed tight for how however long it took us to get here? Hmm. One of the many mysteries that will, that will undoubtedly be resolved in Episode 5, whenever that comes out. There we go. There's that lovely turlet water we were waiting for. Now, there's lots of cloth here. Okay, uh, uh, let's... Yeah, while we still have daylight... Oh, I skipped that one. Yeah, while we still have daylight, let's... We'll loot both these houses, and then... We'll see about any repairs that need to be done. Okay. Yeah, kind of figured. Well, if nothing else, that's uh, more beachcombing loot, which at this rate probably means more free saplings. And I am not opposed to that. Here, let, let me go. I'm going to go ahead and, even though it is still light out, ish. We'll just do this so we get we do one, one one hundred percent looting run. So so we don't have the uh, the instant like we did with the Femi flask and have useful pieces of tech just slipping right by us. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Oh, but you can. You can and you sh Oh, hi! I've never seen a Carl Bob in here before. That's new. And slightly disturbing. Your model's cute? Good! Hope, the, hope your uh, professors agree and they reward you in the proper fashion. I don't know if, if cuteness is a... Uh, if, they, if they get extra points for that in architecture, but hey, it can't hurt. No, nope, leave the revolver card. You think the guy hit his head coming out of the shower? Well, he is... He's fully clothed, but he... In, in fairness, he might be one of the never nudes. So you just that might just be how he showers or showered, I should say. Okay, uh Oh, I do see cooking oil up top there. There we go. Could have gotten dressed in the shower so he doesn't wet up the bathroom. That's that's it's a bathroom though. That's that's what it's there for. Okay, that will do for that. Well, there's a blizzard going, so we're not going anywhere for a while. How much cloth do we have? Five. Here, drop that. See if we can get some repairs in. Very nice. How about those snow pants?
Really, that ruined the sewing kit. All right. Do I have a spare? I do. Yeah, let's take one more crack at that. Really get them good. Yes, lovely. Yeah, two and a half degrees. Look at that. Look at that nonsense. Yeah, Blizzard's still going. Yeah, so we'll probably just spend the night here. Um, other repairs? Shoes? Hmm. I feel like we'll find better eventually. Yeah, let's just lighten our load by harvesting some of that extra clothing. And we, we can save the uh, curtains for later. Okay, maybe we'll keep this, the undies and the work pants just as emergency clothes, but yeah, the jeans gotta go. We could have been reading this whole time, but that's, you know, it's fine. Uh, all right. Anything else we can prepare? No. Let's see. Uh, that's fine. Those are fine. Uh, I did grab two pots. We don't. Well, we just we leave one at the uh, at the Quans and take the other with us. I would like a skillet eventually. Oh right, uh, remember we did leave. You know, uh, we left the uh, left the birch sapling in the kitchen. Yeah, we'll be rolling five kilograms over. So when the blizzard passes, we, we probably want to yeah, we'll leave the beach combing for once. Yeah, at, probably even after the craftathon. Which I know, you know, me ignoring looting in favor of you know staying on task. Imagine. Oh, come on. Just get it light enough to where I can see. We can get our birch sapling. Okay, that'll do. There it is. Now a little, little extra curing. Uh, right. Grab that. Grab that. And keep our eyes open as we walk out, just in case there's a bear in the neighborhood. This pack is getting kind of heavy. Okay. Okay. All right, 
That looks clear enough to me. Let's move on. Right. Okay, watching for the bear. Don't see it nearby. Oh no, those are those are traveling crows. Those are throw us off our game. Okay, are we are we that desperate? Yeah, we are. Okay, we'll 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 stop by the prop deer here, check for feathers, then we go back to the closet, drop off our gains, and do we roll straight into the crafting? Well, well, it depends. If our if our birch saplings are cured, which they almost certainly will be, I, I feel like we were gone long enough for the curing process to do its work. Checking for feathers, checking for feathers. I don't see any feathers. Lazy bums. All right. Anyway. Moving swiftly along. Now, we're... Oh, right, yeah. We, did, we don't have... Yeah, we got the uh, memento note for the Rabbit Grove cache. Uh, we don't have the one for the, the little boat up here. Which I think is like coffee and energy drinks and fishing tackle. Not bad, but not like... Not anything we need to run out and get. Yeah, as we, yeah, as we work our way, you know, down the, the highway of Coastal Highway... We'll we'll get to the car on the bridge and then we can maybe we can do the job there. No, oh, okay. Um right, that is there just no? There's okay. No, yeah. There's I was like, no. There's there's two houses up on uh, in, in this little uh, set on Stalker. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's burned out. That's burned out. The blue house is up, and there's one. Yeah, there's one that's right there. Oh, no, that's... Okay. <laughs> that big lump uh, just over the hill had a striking resemblance to a bear. No, that's just a... That's just a... Well... Big heap of fishing equipment. <laughs> no. Yeah, you know, I mean... Quonset's a nice, convenient location. But as we say, the, the neighborhood's a little rough. And sometimes that rough nature can lead you to make certain assumptions. If I, can drop any of this gear. See, I did grab that, didn't I? I did. Okay, good. Those are... Ah! 92% cured. Boo! Okay, and the you see the maple sapling's almost done. Um, well, you know what? I'm just gonna take the take our bow materials and then just plop them right there. 
we have, well, we do have we do have some. We have fifty feathers, so that's fifteen be forty five, sixteen be forty eight. So that's sixteen arrows worth. Of course, we don't have sixteen arrow shafts, not yet, anyway. All those. Um, let me offload some stuff here before we jump in too hard. Uh, oh, right. We, we do have our extra pot. Remember to drop that where it needs to go. Uh, oh, right. Backup clothing, just in case. Okay, wearing everything? No, not wearing everything. There we go. There we go. That'll help. And we're going to take you. Drop you right there. Just pop a spare can. Yes, yeah, so we should have... Wait, no. There, I might have dropped a can somewhere. Because I want to keep that with me. Never mind. Right. Those are 93. Um... What's 6% of four days? Now, nah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just just do the thing. All right. We're going to offload some canned goods. That'll, that'll make us a fair bit lighter. There we are. Now to business. We can make four more arrows. Four, ooh, four and a half hours. Well, we'll, we'll keep an eye on our meters. Well, I say meters, I mean, you know, one meter in particular. There we go. Archery, oh, okay, got it. We're about two thirds of the way to archery two. So, oh, they're 98% cured. Okay, yeah, 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 okay, we're fine. We're, well, we will be fine. Although, if you wanted to get out ahead of our, our fineness, excuse me, it might behoove us to go find some more feathers. Where, where would we... Well, yeah, just go, just go down the highway. There's going to be, I think there's probably going to be at least one Carl Bob and a prop deer. We're right, we can go down like as far as the tooth. Are you serious? All right, fine. Oh, uh, moose? Check for the moose. Mm, no moose. All right. Moving swiftly on. So how about this instead? Well, no, it will... 
Oh yeah, we also because we did have the the extended uh, forgeathon, and then we well we were in the mine just for a little bit, and then we spent the blizzard in that the seaside cottage. So I guess a little time out of doors wouldn't hurt, just just to get out ahead of any any potential. Uh, cabin fever concerns. Now we do have, yeah, we're we have uh, eight arrows in total of varying conditions, so we don't we don't have to be as we don't have to play it as tight to the vest as we have. We can start taking some shots. Thing is, we just need to. It's just gotta remember coastal much bigger zone than desolation point so any uh, arrow thieves we encounter will be significantly more annoying yeah there's our it's our favorite fishing hut right out there. Uh, yeah, feathers. Not. Yeah, my right idea to go looking for feathers is not, <laughs> not uh, yielding much so far. Oh well. Uh, did we check? Yeah, I think we, we the uh, the the. Carl Bob on the islands between uh, Misanthrope and Jackrabbit. We have been there. We had that initial round of beachcombing. Okay, the tooth is over there, so there'll be a Carl Bob somewhere nearby. Yeah, Logsort Wolf didn't come to greet us, and that one doesn't look interested, but we'll see if that changes. Although, again, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess we just we saunter on, but no, no. We, we we set ourselves the goal of 250 wolf kills. We need to be... Yeah, we need to be more proactive. How about that? So, rather than waiting for the wolves to come to us, how about we go to the wolves? Also, is there is there not Carl Bob? No. Or further up? Yeah, my, my memory was there was there was a Carl Bob by the tooth once upon a time, but maybe that's not an every time thing, or got moved? I don't know. Weird. Anyway, um, Did I see a? Yeah, there's a there's a prop deer, right up there. Nice and tucked away. Got hey, 
three feathers. That's not bad. We'll leave it. I... I feel reasonably certain they will those those feathers will respawn and in time. I don't know how long, but I feel like we'll get another crack at that. Okay, um, I guess maybe my, my memory is playing tricks on me, perhaps. Do not see a Carl Bob. Okay, so. Change plans. The, the odds are good. Our, our uh, burn saplings are cured by now. So let's work our way back to the Quonset, but as we go, let's just, yeah, so we'll, we'll drop some wolves, we won't touch them, but we'll leave them out, and then ideally they become feather generating machines for us, so we can go around and collect the, or get collect off arrows to make use of the rest of our arrowheads. Okay, yeah, that, that was a butt shot, so... Unlikely that was going to drop it first time, but man, I was not bad shooting. What the hell was that? What kind of maneuver was that? It, like it did like, a whole a whole juke right in front of us. Well, obviously, we're not we can't let that stand. Nope, that, that arrow just up and bounced. I think that wolf is drunk. Look at it swaying. There. Sleep it off, pal. Oh, that's a... Big ding that condition. Yeah, that's like one of those. Yeah, one of those wolves over there is off chasing a deer. We'll let that have its fun. Oh no, maybe or that was the one that we we landed with that shot from distance. That is still still. still uh, Sorting out its fares, so to speak. Really? Really? All right, I really don't have time for this. Okay. Now, in retrospect, I might have delayed the shot on that one a little bit too much. Okay. Uh, we do... Oh, wow. That infection risk shot up fast. Okay, well, let's go... Let's go find some OMB, see if we can take the edge off of that.
Nope, get you think I see some right over there. But yeah, I, 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 and I'm, I'm torn on, you know, engaging with wolves this way. Because like, I did, I did say, I did say we were gonna. The goal was to get better from range, and obviously, if we're engaging wolves thusly, that's not. I mean, unless we're considering three feet from range, it's not quite in keeping with the. In this, not quite in keeping with the spirit of the challenge. No, what do we need? Do I need three? I need three. Okay. Well. Go. Think that did the trick. Sounded close too. Because it was. And in, in, in long dark fashion, it died on a hillside. Three percent. Oh, I must have used the one. Maybe I used the one that bounced. Okay. Well, you know, if a couple arrows break, we uh, got more where that came from. Alright. Yeah, our health actually took a decent hit. Um, yeah, our clo well, clothing took some. So yeah, the, my, my early early report on going with a, uh, if we're, we're going to insist on the uh, pry bar. Did that lose condition? Um, no. Okay, good. Yeah, so the pry bar as a wolf, as a struggle weapon, it's okay. Now, obviously, it does not, it doesn't, like, it doesn't do any extra damage to it. Like it, it, like not like the, the hatchet or the the knife. But I mean, it does it does seem to uh, fill up the uh, the struggle bar, reasonably quickly. So that might be worthwhile. Uh, now. I think the thing is, as we saw there, we uh, so we, we got in a we got in one struggle and we got the the blood loss and the the uh, infection risk. And as we were dealing with that, well, one the it just chased off the wolf and didn't. They only temporarily did that. Oh, there's our other arrow. Nice. Um, but also. Uh, as we were dealing with that, the as the the other wolf that was in the neighborhood picked up on our the scent of our blood right away and locked onto us. So, and this being stalker seems fairly likely that we're going to run into that somewhat frequently. You know, wolves coming in pairs rather than flying solo. So. Gonna, gonna put your head down there, friend? No, you're not. Alright. Oh, there we go. That's another... Another reminder to me that... If we're gonna shoot, we're gonna want to... You know, we're not gonna do the thing where we crouch, we crouch and we walk right up to the doe and then shoot. Then we're going to have to just start shooting from range and probably missing. So we can get that, uh, again, get the, find the range we need. So in future, we know how to approach such shots. 
Cause we gotta, we gotta be bad before we can be good. I hope nobody needs this anymore. Well, <laughs> you, you definitely hear that that uh, arrow break. Can I at least see it, please? Hello? It clearly missed. I I heard I heard that. But I, I would I would like my arrow. There we go. Yeah, the doe can live for now. Boo. Okay, I lied. <laughs> uh, now... Again. <laughs> We're learning to shoot from distance, but... If our prey are, are just gonna present themselves... What? Why do... What do you what do you expect? We're not, I'm we're only human. Now you cannot cannot dangle a what is essentially a free kill. Getting a lot colder soon. And expect me to just ignore it. Yeah, we're we we are in. We're we're learning shooting from distance. We're also we're also learning opportunism. And we, we, can, we can definitively say the uh, the deer have they have uh, worse moves than the uh, than the wolves, or, or at least that wolf in particular. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let me. We're going to get very heavy and very stinky, but I just want to move these over here to our, again, our, our favoriteest fishing hut in the whole wide world. Hello, moon. Yeah, four, four things take a turn. Let's just get everything we want off of this. Oh, geez. Okay, I, I can I can see the uh, I can see the fishing hut there. Which is good, that's about all we can see in these conditions. Okay. Well, Astrid, you're in luck. There is a whole dough 
just waiting for you. Uh, might spend the night here. Well, I don't know if we have enough fuel to do that, Come though. On, Come on. But we can at least make sure Astrid is fed and watered. I mean, wander back. Go. Uh, do we do we have water? We do. Okay. Yeah, two liters. That's fine. Didn't know if we needed to make more. Not not just now. Oh yeah, we got archery too with that uh, that close range kill. Um, so that gets us less bow sway and more damage. Okay, there we go. Good reasons to get to archery two before. Well, I mean, starting the hunt proper. That's basically what we're doing now, though. Yeah, that's that's, that's actually deer number one. Now that I think of it. Um. I actually hate these. These uh, conditions here. There you go. I'll take one more. We'll... Yeah, that'll be Astrid's breakfast. Yeah, that'll peter out. Yeah, we'll. Well, here, let me. We'll give. We'll give her a. a uh, we'll go for a quick one-hour nap. We'll see if the. See if the fog clears. If nothing else. And it did not. How are we temperature-wise? Feels like negative one out here. But the bedroll can easily overcome that. And oh yeah, we are also very much you know, burning off any any remaining cabin fever concerns. So we have that going for us, which is nice. Okay, sleeping outside without a fire feels bold, but we'll... Yeah, it feels like negative two. We got decent bonus. We'll we'll, we'll go for four, and we'll, we'll keep an eye on things. If the weather turns, we'll we'll pack up and go. Nope, still very much pea soupy. Well then, just. Yeah, we'll get we'll get the oh feels like negative six and we're only getting five there. Okay, well we can see if we can get to sunrise. Although that's not going to do much, is it? No, because it's only going to get colder. Yeah, no, it feels like negative eight. Okay, well that's us done then. You know, get 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 your breakfast, Astrid. Bend your knees. Wait, wait a minute. That's eight hundred. That yeah. Okay, the raw has nine hundred calories. The cooked version has eight hundred. What the hell? Is that a is 
is that a cooking one thing? No, that it shouldn't have. It shouldn't lose calories. That's weird. Okay, here we go. Skies are starting to clear. Is it high TX? That's a very personal question to ask. But again, that, no, it's <laughs> we're we're not so bad that we we somehow make the food worse by virtue of cooking it. Because if we were, I feel like I feel like the game would mention that. Okay, we're yeah, we're okay. Um, if I grab all of this, yeah, we are maximally stinky. But also, man, check that sunrise. It is it is aggressively orange. Okay, so here's what we do. Uh, we are going to yellow it. I'm going to take the can take the meat and the guts and the hide, obviously, the one thing that's not making it stinky. And we'll take that back to the Quonset. See, see how much attention we draw as we do. Oh, and then we'll I'll have to I'll put in a cut here for YouTube once we get in there. But no, I now I know. See, I think TX, you might remember this. For a while, there was a thing where uh, cooking five didn't give the level of uh, the extra calorie buff it should have. Now, I don't know if that was patched out or what, but again, that was cooking five. We're on cooking one. Also, see, there's a pack of four doggos making their way over here. I think if we get a move on, though, we can probably get in before they get close to us. Now, if there are any wolves in the town site, of course, they will come running. Yeah, see, they're going to where the smell was, although they'll probably figure it out soon enough. My fingers feel numb. Yep, yeah, there's one. Although it is a ways off, so we can, we can hustle back here real quick. Watch for the bear, because it's probably going to wander through here soon. Okay, extra guts will go here. One, two, and a deer hide. We'll make note of them. Okay, that's a, that's, a, that's the fresh one we got on the way here. There we go. Birch, 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 birch. Okay, we've got 55 feathers now. Hey, 
Excuse? No, oh, there we go. So that's yeah, that, that's four and a half hours just of making arrow shafts. Our poor knife is in for a, a lot. Oh right, uh, we did here. Uh, before we start the craftathon, let me well, I'll just put in a quick break for for YouTube. Uh, yeah, so we'll be, we'll be right back, and then we'll uh, the crafting will begin, and soon after that, the the shooting will begin in earnest. So uh, stick around, Twitch and YouTube. We'll catch you next time.